Hi, I'm Daisy Smith and this is my vlog about my internship this summer. Um, I did a six week internship at a small company in Berlin and a week long work experience in a branch of Legal and General in Hove. Um, it was really interesting to see the differences between a very large company such as Legal and General and a small company. Uh, Acrolinx only has um, uh, 100 employees, that was the company I was working in in Berlin. Legal and General is a multinational insurance company and I was working in one of the actuarial departments um, in the branch my local branch. Acrolinx is a software company which provides an upscale sort of spell checking tool to big companies like Google and Amazon and the tool can also analyze um, tone and difficulty of a piece of text. It's kind of a high-tech version of a spell check. Um, at Legal in general I was just shadowing other employees and talking to them about their work um, whereas Acrolinx I was working I was working in the software development department and writing code in Java and Python which are languages I've been learning at UCL. Uh, code, coding languages. Um, specifically, I created while I was at Acrolinx the a, a tool for the natural language processing natural language processing research team um, to evaluate their new machine learning techniques, um, with which they hope to improve certain elements of the Acrolinx product. I chose these two experiences because I wanted to go into something related to maths and computer science. Um, I want I want to, um, and I've been considering a career as a developer or an actuary. Um, and I wanted to compare the two, but I didn't c predict that it would be so informative to uh, see the differences between a small and a large company as well. Um, in Acrolinx, which is the smaller one, um, it was much easier to be aware of your role in the wider context of the company, um, and also of the company's overall goals. So, for example, like I was working on the same floor as the higher management um, and the customer service team and the and other de software developers and also linguists and it was a very communicative environment um, between all the different you know uh, roles so it was very easy to see where I fitted into the company. Um, in Aqualynx like so it was really easy to pick up for example that Aqualynx is a subscription based company and most of their success comes from the, their close relationships with these big companies um, so the big companies will report to the customer service team the problems they're having and the things that would improve the product um, and Aquilinx makes a special effort to quickly tell the software development team on the same day basically what those things are and then they develop the right um, the, the right improvements for that so um, Aquilinx tend to keep their um, even though that it's a quite a competitive market Aquilinx tend to keep their um, client clientele because uh, the clientele know that when they present something more that they want Aquilinx will provide that so it's um, it's quite a Basque s. It was quite a Basque esque internship because it was um, quite uh, to do with both communication and software and linguistics, and it was kind of very interdisciplinary. Um, however, uh, it was yeah, so it was more difficult to um, see the wider context of what I was doing, well, what the team I was uh, working like shadowing were doing in legal in general, um, partly because it was uh, advanced stuff that they were doing, and um, I wasn't wasn't there for as long but also because um, I was in just one team that made up several of that department which makes up several um, makes up a bit of that branch and there's just it's just such a massive company that it's really hard to understand what your role what your little team is doing and you're so far away from people like higher management or customer service that you have no connection to that sort of um, no un, you know general connection to those to those um, parts of the company um, and I think because of this, it leads to a very hierarchical environment, or it doesn't legal in general, um, which makes sense because uh, people because people don't know the overall goals of the company so well, they have to concentrate on completing certain goals for their boss, um, which is quite nice in a way because the boss and the employee um, like communicate a lot, which would be good for learning learning from a more experienced person. But I think it's also a less compelling reason to do your work than if you can see how the work affects the company directly. Um, like, for example, when I was working at Acrolinx, I was providing a tool that was directly going to help the research team as they developed their machine learning techniques. And I knew why, did they, need, why they needed to develop these techniques because at another point in the internship I was reading, um, we were... We were Research, that our team were researching what Grammarly were doing and they were using these machine learning techniques to improve this particular element of the product and so um, we realised that the company realised that they had to also do that so I was in this 
meeting with higher management, customer service and uh, software development people and linguists. So it was a very, I really understood what I was doing and um, and why it was why I was doing it. Um, so my product, I really understand why it's useful that I created for them. Um, in this way, uh, yeah, I was directly connected to the company researching their competitors, coming up with plans to keep up with those competitors and then implementing those plans. Um, and I think this is a more compelling and exciting yeah, reason to do something then because your boss sort of tells you to. Um, so, and but it's a different mentality because it means you're guided by trying to improve the company rather than just furthering your own career. Um, and both kind of have their advantages because I think in a small company it would be quite difficult to further your own career because uh, there aren't that many opportunities to uh, go to a different department or try different things. Um, whereas I know that in legal in general, most of the people I met had worked in lots of different departments, moved around a lot, it was very transitory. But then that has disadvantages as well because a lot they didn't really know each other, the people I, I met there. Um, whereas at Aquilinx, everyone I met, you know, they were good friends with each other and they had a lot of jokes with each other and it looked quite like a bit, a lot more friendly in that way. Um, so, but I, I've learned, you know, about what I think I want. I think I. I think I want to work in a small company because I like this feeling of knowing what you're doing in the world rather than just for your own career. Um, however, um, and I'm not sure I would have realised that before doing these two internships. Um, however, I think the my actual the thing I've learned actually from it is that I want to be doing something that I feel is worthwhile. Um, and one of the ways of doing that is working in a small company because you feel for me it would be because you feel you know why you're doing something. So yeah.